And now, here's your host, D. Spencer, the working lady. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Welcome to another edition of D Works Live. I'm your girl, D Spencer, the working lady. And if the work won't come to D, then D will go to work. <laughs> I had to bring that back. I used to do that all the time. I got to bring that back because we back. We back. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wacky Wednesday. This is Wacky Wednesday. Woo. Grab your friends. Start a watch party. There she is. Our VIP Zuri J is in the bit it, 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 then. And I'm super excited because I'm not alone today. You are not alone. I am here with you. Yes, I got somebody here with me to help me uh, in all my shenanigans and maybe help me so that I will <clears throat> not say the phrase that pays. <laughs> Shout out to everybody on the Instagram. Hello, everyone on YouTube. Please start a watch party. Tag somebody. Tag your friends. Hit them up. Start a watch party. Um, share. Repost. Um, hey, Creation Makeup. Hello there. Do something. Like, let people know. D Works Live is on the air. Listen, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today because I have been in rehearsals for The Wiz and whoo it's been keeping me busy we're on a schedule that's like roller coaster roller coaster this is hell week is tech week hell week and so you know what that means but before i go any further let me get my guest co-host up on here with me um give it up for her i'm super excited to have her joining me i hope she will do it more often because i like our synergy and i think that we could like really get something going here so give it up for my very special guest my friend my girl none other than q kiana hey q faces kiana where you at hello, hello, hello. Uh oh i don't see you on the screen though where you, I see you. are you frozen I see me moving. I see you moving. Do you all see her? Because I can't see her on the screen. I don't know so you, you can see me. From my point of view, all I see is a black screen. Hold on. I'm about to, uh, let me, first of all, silence this screen that's going on. Let, look, I'm going to take you out and bring you back in and see what happens. Okay. Nope. I still don't see you. Is it me? I'm no, I don't see you on there. There's a little bit of a delay for me. I just pulled it up on Facebook and it is a black screen. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It it's says so Q and it's black. Yep. Let me see. see Let me play with my camera. Do you see me now? No. Can you see me now? Can we see can we see now? She's a ghost. She's a ghost. She's ghosting us. Oh, this is hilarious. I know. okay, listen. Go out of the studio and then come back in and see what okay. happens. I don't know what happened. See? Trying to sabotage, trying to sabotage her fabulous guest co-hosting experience today. Hello, Dominique. How are you, darling? Good to see you. And uh, listen, we're trying to get her here. We're trying to get her here. We are trying to get her on here. Okay. So you already know what it is. Uh, the shenanigans continue in my quest to use more of my words and not to use uh, the same words over and over again. So the phrase that pays, if you hear me saying the phrase that pays, hello, acting regent, what's up? How are you? Uh, oh, yes. Creative Makeup is here and uh, Chep Productions. Hey, hey, hey. So if you hear me saying, oh, my goodness, she can't get in here now. Where is she? Kiana, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where did she go? OK. Um, <clears throat> so for those who are I'm doing great. I'm doing fantabulous. OK, I'm trying to get the phrase that pays up here. And um. I know, I know that everyone is excited because more than likely, I will probably say it 99 times. But for those of you on Instagram, here you go. This is the, this is the thing. Oh, there she is. Okay. 
My guest co-host is Kiana. Yes. Yes, hey, 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 hey. yes, I see your beautiful face. I see you. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. All right. Yes. So and this my is what, working. Yes. This is the phrase that pays um on Instagram. So if you hear me say this, I'm not gonna say it now, then type <laughs> 25 in the comments. And I'm starting a jar. It's like a swear jar, but it's this jar. Um, and for every time that you catch me saying that phrase right there, then I will put 25 cents, not $25, like Monica tried to get me to do, 25 cents in the jar. <clears throat> and um, you will be entered at the end of the month, you'll be entered into a drawing to win uh the, the money that I've accumulated. So, so far, my track record is not good. It is just not good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm so, no. And, and then this is what's messed up. This is what's messed up because I always read the comments. Uh, Kiana said, won't let me be great. I always read the comments. And so, in, instead of helping me, okay, Zuri can't believe you. Typing it, so I will read it. I will not be reading comments. that, just forget it. You, 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 you try to sabotage me. You try to sabotage me. Uh, she trying to make her coins. I know. I know. People, yeah. People are, are really trying to go after me. But anyway, oh, that's funny. I feel so excited because there's so many things going on this week. So many things, but let's get into some birthday shout outs because we don't want to forget people's birthdays. Okay. So I'm going to do the birth. Kiana, do you sing? You're going to sing happy birthday with me? You do I don't sing, but I'll sing it with you. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Kiana, nobody, so nobody judge me. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we have for birthday. <laughs> get your judging cam, get your judging hats on. Get your little plastic up for a 10, a 9, an 8. <laughs> okay, let's see what upcoming birthdays. Ooh, lots of, oh my goodness, lots of, oh, lots of birthdays, lots of birthdays. Okay, let's go with birthdays from yesterday. Oh my gosh. Some of you my, got much yes. Hilton, okay, no. Ariana Draper. That covers up my face. Ariana the Draper. Best. Ariana Draper had a birthday on yesterday. Margie Cantor. Margie Cantor painting faces, one of my favorite face painters. Had a I birthday. Love her. I love her work. Um, Carl, mm, Carl W. Nunn has a birthday today. Happy birthday, so happy Ronda. birthday. Shay Thrower McDaniels has a birthday today. Brian Walters, who's the music, who's one of the musical directors that works on the shows at the school that I um, work uh, with, it has a birthday today. Dabney Clark, my girl Dabney, long, long, long time uh, internet friend. Ash DeVito has a birthday today. Allie Marshall has a birthday today. Carmen Orr, Terrell Alden, that used to be my neighbor. He's got, he's got, the, he's 116 years old. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he probably put a fake oh my goodness. Allison Stella Kohler of the Just Jersey Food Truck Festivals keeps me employed during festival season. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday. I think she is vacationing for her birthday. So we want to say happy birthday to her. So here happy we go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday to y'all. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. You better celebrate. Hey, hey. Mm, mm. It's your birthday. You better celebrate. Happy, get it, get it, Kiana. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, everyone that's having a birthday. This is the most uh, unforgettable year that you will ever have on your birthday because in the year of the pandemic, you survive to celebrate. So we want to thank oh, I don't want that. Darn it, darn it, darn it. <laughs> Oh, I don't want you to echo. I was trying to be able to see comments and it's oh, not yeah. working for me. 
Um, if you go in the, oh, you can't see it. In the top right corner. Can you see the comments in the top right corner of your computer? I see them, um, I see them up under your up under your face. I see comments there. No, of, of the, of the uh, studio. Look in the top right corner. You can't see them. You should be able to see them there as well. Okay. But anyway, um, Taritha, hey, Taritha is here. Hello, hello. Monica's here. Happy birthday. They're saying happy birthday to everybody. Party vibes for sure. Okay, let's get right into some of the shenanigans that's been going on. First of all, have you seen Coming to America? We don't have to worry about spoiler alerts because guess what? It's Coming to America. I guess it could be spoiler alerts. I guess. I don't know. Uh, there are some spoilers, I think. Yes. But... Hey, Chandra, girl, come on over to the to the um, Facebook and come into the room and have the party with us. OK, so coming to America, I have not seen so many people get rattled. Like I'm looking on some of these threads and people are ready to fight this one guy. <laughs> this people one, have been ridiculous. Yes. Like this one guy, I made a comment. <clears throat> and this was my comment. My comment was, I just, there was some things I just found hard to believe. Okay. But I guess I, I don't know. Did I expect too much? Did I, I don't know. I feel like my theatrical imagination was pushed too far to the limit because I was saying the people in the barbershop, like they were like 900 years old in the barbershop well, they, the first time. Well, yeah, they, sh they should have been dead. Yeah. <laughs> they should have been like 90 or something. And so that's what the comment I was like, it just, I just found it hard to believe about the people in the barbershop still being alive. All of them, all of them. But I mean, all, all things aside and realizing that this is a 30 year old sequel. Yes. They had to be there. It wouldn't have been the sequel without the barbershop guys but we know <laughs> in in all in all fairness yeah, no they, they should have went on to glory by now i get it yeah i have an alternative storyline that could have worked i mean this, this. <laughs> and people are like if you don't like it write your own movie and let's see what your movie is like i'm like, I'm like okay but here and then here's the other thing why are people getting so mad like that's what happens with movies movies are critiqued People critique movies, and uh, Dominique says she loved it. Um, Taritha said she hasn't seen it yet. Um, I loved it. Yeah. I really loved it. I think it's an age thing is what I'm starting to feel like. I feel like there's <laughs> the older you got, it seems like a lot of the older friends did not care for it. And then right. others the were fine. The younger yeah. ones were fine. Things that I did love what oh, Teresa said, imagination, y'all. Come on, come on. Okay. So let me tell you what happened. Shanda Webb said, didn't like it much. She didn't like it. She didn't like it. And Teresa says, just got to allow yourself to get lost in the fun. Okay. So this is what happened. What I didn't do was I did not watch Coming to America, the first one, like right before I watched the second oh, one. Oh, okay. Okay. I was going to say. I probably you should have. Get your card taken. You was about to get your card taken if you had said you had never seen it at all. I, I was just trying I to understand. Of course, I saw the first one, but I think, for example, like with The Walking Dead, which I love. The Walking Dead. I'm like a huge Walking Dead fan. Isn't that right, Zuri? Huge Walking Dead fan. Like to the point that I will every week when it comes on, I'll watch the previous episode, even though I've already seen it, just to be like right in sync going into the next episode. And so that's what I should have done with coming to America. Because honestly, when I went back after watching two and then went back and watched one and then it clicked, I was like, okay, now I could give it a pass. I could give it a pass. Hi, Tanisha Cooks. I could give it a pass on some things after that. There were things mm. then, and there were things I loved about it, like the costumes. Rita, Rita Carter. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ah, they did, were amazing. Is that her name? Rita? Did I get her name right? Rita. Is that the same person that did Black Panther? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, it is. and that explains Can that because Can you see I it? saw the the beauty. I could see it. Okay. Yes, because now when I went back and looked at one, 
and we thought one was phenomenal. Those costumes were so basic. But for the time, <laughs> for the time, I guess you, we didn't have anything else. So it was like, oh, it's so beautiful. We saw those pinks and purples and you know, um, all of the, like the spring colors of, but all the costumes really were the same. Like go back and look at one and look at when you when they went back to Zamunda and look at the mm -hmm. costumes. They really were all pretty much the same. All the city people, all the all of you know, all the people in the um in, in Zamunda in the country had the same pretty much costume. Just that for the fact. for the time frame. Um somebody said that um the the uh the leader guy that was saying she's your queen to be, they said he needed a new neck piece. Like why did he still have it? <laughs> Listen, listen. He had to wear customary cop. That's his. That was his uniform. That was his, that was his <laughs> uniform. That that lion head right there. Yeah, that was. But he let us have it. Did he let us have it though? Okay. Yes. So, Ooh. but but I'm I'm really tripping on the people who are like really getting mad at people that have an alternative opinion about it, like. Why are you mad? It's a movie. It's, and I mean, it's like anything else. Everybody's going to have their own opinion of it. All I can tell you is that I enjoyed it and I actually plan on watching it again because yeah. I think I was giggling too hard to get the whole storyline. Right. But I mean, if you just look at it for what it was, that when you find yourself and you find who you are, you can't let anybody else derail you. And that's really all that happened. That mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy's character was derailed. He forgot who he had. Who he, he had become and mm -hmm. finding himself. He lost himself. And then yeah. his son showed him the way. Yeah. So, oh, that's that was that's a good point, Keith. That's a good point, Q. Yes. And I mean that's it. It's a movie and it was funny. And Leslie Jones did her thing and she was very oh funny. God. And but now, here's a comment saying about the uh that Eddie Murphy's character was basically raped. And then that whole thing came out about date rape. Like, whew. okay, come on. That's gonna make me sidebar about them cutting out Pepe Le Pew. So we not going <laughs> Pepe Le Pew, and also talking about, uh, you know, that's a whole other story. Doctor, that's a Sue whole other visit. That's a whole different conversation. Dr. But Sue yeah, is gone now. Who else that just got canceled? Like, we canceling cartoon characters now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So, I I think some people are getting too sensitive. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if you want to look at it for what it was, yeah, sure. Yeah, he got raped. But <laughs> date rape. It was date rape. I mean, yeah. But I in, mean, in, well, in so now in um in coming to America two in coming to America three, are we gonna have to deal with? <laughs> we got to deal with the fallout of what Leslie did. And we're going to see her sharing a cell with Bill Cosby. I don't know. I'm just. Oh, my God. I'm getting off. I'm, good. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, okay. Oh. Squash and move. Squash and move. We're going to squash that and move on. Squash yep. that. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm, we need to go. We're going to grab a couple. We're going to talk about the people that hack at Central Eleven, the married people. Exactly. <laughs> Let's talk about it. it. Yes. Let's talk about Megan and Harry and Oprah and Pierce and wow. Oh, child. Who saw that interview? Did everybody get to watch that interview? Hmm. <clears throat> That's another one that people are like going in on. And hi, Dr. Tachi. Hey. And I've I've heard so many different uh opinions. There's a lot. Okay, first of all, let's let's deal with this. Do we believe her? Yes and no. And the only reason why I say yes and no is because she's an actor. And so it's oh. hard uh, to take it what? from what it is. But you went there? Well, that's why I said the yes and no part. The yes part was she did seem sincere because I did watch it and she did see she did appear to be sincere. And I, I also didn't realize, I don't know, it felt, the timing seemed interesting with them, you know, getting ready to give birth to another child. 
Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to say I believed her. I believed her. Um, now, the other question is, it, it also is interesting because this also comes on the heels of more bad press for her, uh, talking about um, some of the staff members claiming that she was brutal, rude, um, that, that she was abusive towards them. So it's coming on the heels of all of that. I think what I think what what made me believe her more than not was when she said something about when other things would get into the media for other people that their their background people would help. But when anything was said about her, there was no support. There was no story created about her. Mm -hmm. They just let her be thrown to the wolves. Right. And right. that part, I said, okay, that's what you know, made me say more is on the side of truth. Mm -hmm. I don't think, um, to answer Dominique, I don't think Harry had anything to lie about. I think he's in love. I also think Harry sprung. And so he's going to, <laughs> he going he going to take care of home. I mean, you know, happy wife, happy life. Do you think and, Okay, this okay. I'm, this is what I want to say about the sprung thing. He's no more sprung than his daddy was sprung for Camila. <laughs> well, okay. and his daddy, see, but I guess once they had had all that drama with Diana, they going to look. They went ahead and let him have Camilla. They couldn't keep having did drama. They, did they really, did they really other kid? Huh. Yeah, but I did. I just found it interesting. Yeah, I agree, Dominique, that they they protected some and not others. Yeah. So for those and on Instagram, the comment is, uh, Dominique says, what did Harry have to lie about? And then she followed that up with, she found it interesting that, that they, talking about Megan and Harry, still protected people. That's what made it, that's what made their story believable to me because they could have came out and, and spilled all the tea. But best believe all the tea will eventually get spilled. And it's I'm going to come anyway. Right. It, this, the tea is going to get spilled because people will tell on themselves. If you leave people, mm -hmm. long, just put it out there, just dang it out there. They will tell on themselves because somebody, it, you ever post something on your social media and you might make a random comment like, um, I'm sick of liars, I'm sick of haters. And then somebody will come on your page and be like, oh, I'm sorry. I hope you're not talking about me. Ooh, what, mm -hmm. Why are you talking about you? You, you guilty? It's that, phrase, it's that phrase, a hit dog or holler. That's all that yeah. is. is that, yeah. Oh, the hit dog is going to come out. Oh, and so we'll see what it is. Mm -hmm. I question. I question if his dad. I think Charles got something to do with this. Um, mm -hmm. But I would like to know who they is because all they, you know, in their interview, they both mentioned they. Or I'm not going to speak on it because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. But you already getting people in trouble because heads are spinning right now. Somebody is getting interrogated right now. What, mm -hmm. Did you call their baby black? Did you? Say? We, and then, and then talking oh. about the baby coming out dark. Let's get on that. Let's get on. That, that was just rude. Whoever said it, that was the most disrespectful thing I'd heard in a long time. <laughs> Let me tell you, I believe it was said. I believe it, it was said. It. But they've had a black queen before. Why are they acting like this is brand new? Hmm. They got but, her in the halls. But because they're acting like they don't know, they don't want to acknowledge that. Uh, I agree. Dominique says, I think William does too. Their relationship is still broken. Mm -hmm. it is. And it's really sad that it is because those two brothers went through so much and they went through a lot together. They, they went through a lot together. I'm praying that eventually, <clears throat> eventually there will come a time. And it could take years. It could take 10, 20 years for that for type of healing. Yeah. To come back together. Um, it's unfortunate. But um, yeah, let's talk about who in the world is talking about the color of their baby's skin. One thing and we don't know that's going to be that their babies will be beautiful. Let's talk about yeah. that. Oh, that's about to come. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Come on. They, mm -hmm. they probably wonder what kind of hair she gonna have. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope it's a big curly red fro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Yes. I hope it's a big old, big old monster fro. Uh, uh, Shanda says William said it wasn't his grandmother or his father. So we've, we've so we've already. Well, but we've he's gonna de- he's gonna wasn't. defend him. <clears throat> yeah, he's gonna defend him. I don't think I don't think it's the queen. I don't think it's the grandmother. I don't think so either. I because I, I I can't really see her talking petty like that. I, I don't but see. It, there's there's some handlers, and that's what I'm trying to understand. Who's the handler? Because mm, mm. that's who said it. Whoever a handler is, it it may not be Charles. I think Charles had some conversations that got out that he didn't mean to get out. Maybe it's that sister in law. Was a handler. What if it's that sister in law? Uh huh. Uh huh. Because mm-hmm. here you come and, on, and then you- you're getting more attention than I am, and I'm the one that's the future. Uh, queen or my my child is heir to the throne. Not- but he's gonna get the title in the end, like um like your meme, Dominique. Hey, he's gonna hey, be saying hey, hey, auntie hey. soon anyway because right. he's still gonna get the title. Right. Yeah. Dominique says shaking my head. They weren't given a reason for why that baby wasn't gonna be given a title. That's mm-hmm. just insane. Insane. It doesn't make sense. All the all the other grandchildren have some type of title, even if it's some a duke, type of title. even if it's they're given the title of a duke or or something, mm-hmm. prince or some. What what do they give the girls if they're not a, a oh duke and duchess? Duke, duke and duchess. Duchess. Mm-hmm. Your child gets nothing, and then because your child is not going to get a title, then they won't get security. He can't. He can't be a count or nothing. I don't know. Maybe they want him to be Count Dracula. Yeah, I mean, the reality is when the queen passes and Charles becomes king, that child automatically gets a title. Right, right. But but how do you just immediately strike that from the records that your child, all the other kids will get titles, but not yours? Shonda, yes. That's exactly what I said. How were you that blissfully ignorant? Uh, Sh- uh, Shonda says, I hate Megan didn't Google the royal family before she said I do. Now, this this is where I f- I'm, I'm questioning truth right here. I may be questioning truth. I'm wondering, is that really true that she did not Google them? Because, you know, we are the Google. We are in the Google era. If I just meet somebody that I'm just chatting with, I'm going to Google them. If you tell me you are artist, you recording artist, you are this. I'm gonna Google you to see, you know, what level of artist are you? What level of um broadcaster are you? What level sure. of anything? I'm gonna Google your name. So I find that hard to believe. In this day and time where we are doing background checks on people, we're making sure that people are who they say they are. Why wouldn't you check? Why wouldn't you? But I guess she she said something about she just wanted to get to know him, like know him personally without anything getting in the way but I'm like honey he's he's royalty you knew that from the time you met him so wouldn't you want to to know the guidelines but, that you gotta go through but not even that like who doesn't know who doesn't know about even if remotely even even if you have a imagination from what you've seen on TV yeah who doesn't know about the queen and and that that um and a, and a curtsy out of respect yeah that, that world i'm not saying she needed to know how to curtsy because that didn't even occur to me that oh if i ever met the queen i need to know how to curtsy i'm not gonna lie but if i was going to meet the queen i would be looking up all kind of protocol i'm looking up protocol i know oh, i need to at least bow my head you know what i mean because <laughs> i promise you if i gotta meet the queen yeah. lord let me tell you i do not have megan knees so we need to discuss this well in advance so i can get that curtsy down pat exactly i don't know i, I just but she then did again, then again maybe some people really are that naive i mean me i google everything i'm i'm googling i i google everything i want to see what's going on i want to know i want to know so i don't know she but, did that's why I called her blissfully ignorant, Shonda. She did seem very naive about the history of the family. And so it was a it seemed blissfully ignorant until she could not be. But but aren't you even even if it wasn't like aren't you even fascinated? Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to meet the queen. This is like cool. Like this is yeah. 
Yeah. Aren't you interested? Aren't, to me, like you're... to me, that's like. If, if you meet a football player or a basketball player and they say they play for the New York Giants, like you're not going to go and Google to see like what position does he play? How long he been in the game? Is he like a really big time football player or basketball <laughs> player? Aren't you like, I need to know what level. I need to know how many groupies I'm going to be up against. You know? Right. <laughs> like really? That's an important bit of information. You prepare yourself for the game ahead. Yes. Right. Come on, Shanda. Like, she didn't know what Princess Diana went through. As soon as he said, I'm Princess Diana's son, if I didn't know, come on now. Uh-uh. That's the part that's that's messing with me about her not knowing. Uh-oh, I can't hear you, Kiana. Q, I can't hear you. I was fucking, oh. baby. It wasn't oh. for you to hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's kind of it's all kind of background is going on, and I didn't want y'all to hear me fussing at children, so I muted. <laughs> we don't want to have to call our chapter services. Okay, all no. right. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Pierce Mark Pierce uh, Pierce the hater. What's wrong with Pierce the hater, y'all? What is wrong? Pierce the hater. Like. Pierce is dog. He has been dogging her out. Pierce got so upset with his co-host on uh, Good Morning Good Morning Britain that he walked off the air. I say bye bye. Hate to see you go. Bye. But he has dogged Meghan Markle from the time that she's coming to the picture. Apparently, they were friends before, and then when she got into the royal clique. She cut off a lot of people. He took that personal because he felt like he should still be able to pick up the hotline bling and call and wasn't able to do that. And so he took it personal. And so instead of just understanding that that's my friend and if you're my friend, I don't need to talk to you every day or whatever. Somehow, some way, if, if a connection needs to be made, then I, I can make that connection. But to just start dogging the lady out for years like he has done uh and then get called out on it and especially get called out uh <laughs> he says he's not racist but then he's kind of almost saying he can kind of understand the question how can you understand the question about somebody questioning the skin color of an unborn child mm. and okay. what that would do to an expecting mother exactly exactly because I don't have any children, but I'm just saying, uh, as an expected mother, the last thing you want, and it's just as bad as people coming up telling you their horror birthing stories, um, mm -hmm. but you don't want people coming up to you talking about, what if your baby come out with one arm? What if you, you don't want to hear that kind of stuff. What, what color you think your baby's skin going to be? What? Where, where are we? What time are we in? And then he didn't see anything wrong with someone asking that question. It's hurtful. It's hateful. Yes, it's, it is. And, and it, I'm sorry, it's racist. And so now, here you go, Kiana. Like you said, there's handlers. You said there's handlers. So did the handlers say that? Or was somebody on, you know, right there in the mix that said it? But for, for peers to seem to feel like it's okay to be asked that question to me shows mm -hmm. a level of ins insensitivity and shows a level of ignorance that he is in denial about. Did okay. Pierce miss, miss his opportunity to be royal? I guess so. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. But uh, um, hmm. I guess he learned they so apparently he walked off. There's a rumor that he's quitting. It could all just be for hype. Who knows? I just looked. I just speaking on Google. Um, CNN Business said that um he was asked to leave his show. Ah, okay. So ITV that means he's announced, on. ITV announced on Tuesday that Morgan would leave the program he hosted. Hate to see you go. Bye. Yep, he's out. He's out. Well, there you go. He's gone. Yep. And they say ITV has accepted this decision and has nothing further to add. All right. Well, well, they, they cut it. Well, there you go. There, there, there you have it. There you have it. So, um, but I thought that Harry was the one, um, 
I'm seeing comments and not saying with everybody else. So Dominique House said yes. um, it is, and Harry had no idea that there was an issue. But mm -hmm. I thought that in the interview, Megan said something about Harry was the one that told her that someone said, right, and that now there what were you, what issues, you more or less that there would be an issue. What do you think about that? Do you think that he should have even came back and told her that? Not while she was pregnant, at least, but somebody already had come to her and told her that the child wasn't gonna have a title. So but but okay that was direct that was directly told to her. Right. But but the thing about if if someone asked Harry the question about the color of their baby's skin, do you mm -hmm. think that it was right for him to come and tell Megan? No, mm -hmm. at least not while she was pregnant, no. I think that probably made it worse. I don't know. Dominique says, not that racism was an issue. It never came up before. Not, uh, hmm. So it didn't come up until she was pregnant, you're saying, Dominique? Like, hmm. that's the part that I guess I'm, I'm finding hard to believe because the discussions were happening before they got married in media. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if it was happening in media and if they, could, if they kept telling her, you're too hot in the media, we keep seeing you. Then they saw those that commentary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she said yes, yes. So that goes back to that whole handler thing. So you see, you're seeing what you want to see, right, right. And oh. spinning whatever parable you want to to get this girl out. I think in the end, they never wanted her there in the first place. Of course not. Of and course. I'm and I'm I'm honestly surprised that they let it get to the point of a wedding. Like I thought. You thought it would get squashed? I thought it was going to get squashed, to be honest. Because, like, um, dating, I thought it was going to get squashed. Wasn't he dating somebody else before Megan? A what? model. Yeah. Maybe they, thought, dating a model. maybe they thought it was going to be like that. Oh, he's just sowing his wild oats. And you know what? It's it's funny because as I'm, as I'm talking about this, I'm, like, kind of, like, looking at the parallels between coming to America and... <laughs> If there is such a thing as, you know, in that type of thing, you know, like, yeah, yeah, I want to marry who mm -hmm. I love, not who you plan for me to marry. Oh, mm -hmm. parallels there. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to say anything nasty. Let me just bridle your tongue, D. Bridle your tongue because this is on YouTube as well, and. Pusa, pusa. Let me just hush. Let me just hush because um, they just made it difficult and uncomfortable. I, and I, yes. I, I honestly believe that they really thought that they would be able to manipulate, control, and bully her like they did. <laughs> that. But honey, this melanin don't play. Okay. She found it. I'm going to be honest and say, I think that she didn't even, she didn't realize maybe how she was raised, you know, because she was raised in a mixed family, race wasn't an issue. It wasn't a concern. But I, and, and, and then, I, I really think that she, in, in her mind, in her disbelief, in her, I, I really believe that she underestimated this institution that she was marrying into. I really believe she underestimated. I really thought, I really think that she had this love wins, love, love overpowers everything type of mentality. We're going to win them over with our love. They're going to see that we love each other and that that was going to be a thing. I'm going to win them over and, and I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring change. Oh, well, and he might've told her some things like, this is how it's done. And she was probably like, oh, oh, we're going to change that. Okay. And he was, probably like, <laughs> he was probably like, but you don't understand. Harry, don't worry. You got to have some backbone. And because think about it. Who else? Come on. Who, who has ever been involved with somebody? And it's like their mama want them to send them money every two weeks or whatever. You're like, look, you gonna have to stop sending your mama their money every two weeks because we got bills to pay or whatever. And then you kind of pressure them and eventually they stop. You know, maybe it was kind of that thing like, 
oh, we're going to establish our own routines. We're going to establish our own rituals. Oh, yes, we can live here, but we're going to, oh, we got a house. We, we got a palace. We're going to run it how I want to run it. I want to, yeah. Lord, I almost said I want to talk. Okay. Here's, here's, the, here's, the te- here's two teacher more moments I see from this. One, <laughs> do your research. Come through now. Two, love is not enough, y'all. I don't care what it, love is great and it's wonderful and it's beautiful, but marriage is an institution of itself. And if your marriage is a part of a grander, if that's a word thing, uh, institution, then you need to understand what you're doing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And and being in that particular situation with who you were dating, uh-huh. yeah, you have to learn the ways, and that takes time to really. You could date somebody for five years and still not know them. So just, oh my goodness, you're going to date somebody that's royal. You really don't know the ways. That's years. That's years. The family doesn't know you. You don't know them. And, And that's, it's just that. That's an organization. It's a business all by itself. Yeah. Valerie. Hey, Valerie, how are you? Valerie Daff says, I think the whole relationship was too fast. It's a big adjustment. And she said, marriage, baby, immigration, let alone joining the royal family. William had a point in asking him to take it slower. Yep. It, it, yeah, it was, it, it was not, this is not something you could jump into. You definitely, no. it, no, it was definitely I not that lightly. I really believe that in her heart of hearts, she thought that she would be able to come in. I'm your wife. I'm your wife now. When you marry, when a man marries, he cleaves to his wife. She probably had that Bible verse she was trying to play on him. Cleave to your, you know, leave his mother and father and cleave to your wife. Well, that's in, you know, that's in another standard. That's not in royal standard, okay? <laughs> You go royal, you marry everybody and everything about the institution, the business. You're marrying the business, the institution, it, and it's nothing. And you have to, and you have to conform. Period. I mean, yeah, they might it's let you change the curtain or two here. They might let you pick some furniture or whatever, but you got to order from their furniture store, though. But you, you, you can order <laughs> things. <laughs> I like, and then like when they were talking about the staff, like, can you imagine, like? You know what, honey? I'm gonna make you breakfast in bed. I'm gonna go downstairs and make you some grits and some sausage <laughs> and some pancakes. And she go down to the kitchen and she get, getting ready to go in the pantry. And the, and the royal cook is like, uh, 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 you cannot be in here. What do you mean I can't be in here? It's my kitchen. It's my house. No, you can't do that here. You and so this goes into the whole yeah, like, yeah. With the staff. like, can you just imagine? Like, you just want to go get you some. Some grits and and with some cheese and some butter <laughs> and some sausage and you try to go downstairs in the kitchen and remember in Zamunda you couldn't even wipe your own butt in Zamunda you gotta have butt wipers so like, no you can't come in the kitchen you're not you're not allowed in the kitchen what are you allowed in the kitchen isn't this my house this is my house it is your house madam but <laughs> it's my kitchen what do you mean it's your kitchen where is the grits and cheese and butter? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes. And she said, and if you take the money, it comes with strings also. Exactly. But I and, thought she didn't take any money. No, uh, initially. You know what I'm saying? Initially. Yeah, just the, I mean, you, you, but came I mean even, you came in. Even you if you didn't in, take the money, you came in. You came into this house that we provided for. You came to these servants. That's money. You came to these servants that we provide this security. That's money. Yeah. And the other thing is that's messed up about it um, is, oh, let me see. Oh, Nancy got a whole conversation. Let's see. Nancy said, I have a completely different theory. Megan was perfect for the Commonwealth, and I think they loved her, and these people are not stupid. The monarchy needed someone like Megan. I think Harry and Megan and the firm are creating this drama to take attention away from that creeper. Come on now. Ooh, mm. The creeper Prince Andrew. So they still, they still pawning her out. No one is talking about him. Just this 
just a crazy conspiracy theory I'm thinking about. Ooh, Nancy. Ooh, girl, you threw a monkey wrench in this conversation, girl. That's right. We still got to deal with that fallout. I was, wait, who was I talking Ooh. about? Well, I was talking about the coming to America being in jail. That's right. We still got to get Prince Andrew on the lockup. Yes. Ooh, mm. that's right. No one's talking about them. No one's talking about him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are we talking about day rape? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about hanging out with pedophiles and, and stuff and, and things and being on pedophile that's island. Right. Uh, being close to did you say pedophile island? It was a pedophile island. <laughs> it was. <sighs> yes. She said they complained they were cut off and had to live in their own millions. Well, well, we're gonna see. If that was just trying to get the thoughts off of off of that mess. Ooh, Nancy, that, that was that was good. That's true. What'd she say? Uh, Andrew has been cut out, not even in his kids' weddings or baby pick. He may be cut out, but we still got to deal with what's going on with Prince Andrew because they don't—they mm-hmm. still don't want that media attention because that media attention still ties back to that family. You can cut him off all you want to. That's still your family member. That's still your family member. That's okay, and we want to know mm-hmm. because it's still gonna come out. It's still information gonna come out. Like, you know, did he ever have people at that palace? Did he ever fly in them girls to that palace? Because remember, it was a rumor that that somebody was there at the palace cavorting with him, gi- giving him services and stuff. I don't know. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I hope I hope it didn't get that far. That's right, Dominique. Valerie is spilling all the tea. Baby, I need to bring her in here as a guest co-host, too. She got all the tea, too. <laughs> yes, it's processing through. This, is, I mean, there's so much. You guys, we could talk about We could talk about, huh? I thought I lost you for a minute. Uh uh-uh, uh, I, I guess nobody caught I, I, I did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we could talk about this all. I'm doing good. I only did it once today. We could talk about, hush, Dominique. Whatever, Dominique. <laughs> 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 we could talk about this all day because this is, this is some hot, juicy topics right here. But we are going to move on, move on. Okay, because yeah, if we, if we if we can't stay on here all night. We would love to stay on here all night. <laughs> Whatever, Dominique. Dominique trying to get paid at the end of the month. That's what she's trying to do. She's like, I'm gonna be here. I will be here on the thirty first. Mm-hmm. Drawing, honey. Yeah, um, where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside. Come on. Yes. Um, what did Valerie say? I'll tell you this, nobody wants them back or to pay for them from taxes. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, real quick though. How about Tyler Perry having to put them up in a house? And how about Oprah? No, Tyler Perry was it oh Tyler Perry put them up in a house and provided security for them. That and- was his Mm-hmm. I don't so know if it, said we're at a friend's house. Um, no, that might have been Tyler Perry's house. Does Tyler Perry live near Oprah? Probably, because they said she lived down the street from Oprah. But they said when they first got there, Tyler Perry is the one that put them up in housing and then gave them uh, security detail, hired his security detail for them when they came to California after they left Canada because it got too hot in Canada. Um and that Oprah did something for them as well. Uh, mm. Oprah provided this platform for them to speak on. So they still got friends. They still got friends in high places. But this it's is going to be interesting. Need it. Mm-hmm. They need it. Yeah, they do need it. They need it. Okay. They need it. Yes. So I've been talking about it. You see it behind me here. The Wiz CH. The Wiz is happening on Clubhouse Friday. Two days left. I'm so excited. Listen, listen, I'm super excited. Here's some things I'm excited about. There is going to be a live broadcast on um, on Facebook. We, we, rec- we recorded it. So there's a Zoom broadcast that if you're not on Clubhouse, that you will be able to watch the show. 
Um, if you go to the Wiz CH right here on Facebook, go to the Wiz CH, you'll see the link in order to be able to, let's see, you can go to the, uh, follow the Wiz live on Instagram and Twitter. And then if you go to, wait, here it is. Go to the face the Wiz CH Facebook page, and there is a link. It's only six ninety nine to purchase the viewing, the stream of it. And we were in costumes, we're in costumes and everything. So you're getting even more than what Clubhouse is getting, because Clubhouse is only getting the audio version of the show. We wanted to be able to include uh, people who were not on Clubhouse for those who are Android users. Oh, Android. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but those who are Android users, you can go on to um, on to Facebook and purchase uh, the ticket to watch it. And it's on demand. So you don't even have to be available exactly at seven o'clock to watch it on Friday. You can purchase your ticket and then you could watch it at your leisure. So it's only and six four times on Friday, too. Yes. Four p.m. and seven p.m. And I want to give a shout out to my girl, Q Faces, Q Faces. She got to be a part of the production as well <laughs> because, listen, we they wanted costuming, people to get in costumes. And some of the cast is in Atlanta. And I was like, the lion, I was like, hey, I got you. I got you. I got somebody that could do your makeup for you. Okay. You said he posted it on his page, right? Did he, he post did. it? On his, it's, on his, it's on his, he did a, um, a speed of it on his Instagram. Instagram. So let's just pull it up. So shout out to Kiana for making herself available to do that. And that's one of the things, that's one of the great things about being connected to D-Works is because when people need stuff, when people need artists, I tell people, listen, I have people in every city. Just let me know and I can make it happen. I'm going to send you the best of the best to uh to hook you up and she was able to do that and so we were able to bless my sister with a job and then bless this artist with makeup for the show and she did an amazing job because we were like whoa okay oh he posted it okay so yeah here. he posted the time lapse okay so i'm gonna share my screen so that you guys can see it because this Yay! is what yes 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 oh i did it <laughs> I tell on myself all the time, don't I? I just keep telling on myself. Oh, okay. Let me see. I, see, I wasn't even gonna catch you that. I know Dominique misses nothing though. So, Dominique is trying to get paid with it, so I know she probably got it. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Is it on there? It's on there. Okay. There it is. Go, Kiana. And y'all, that man had a gray beard. I dyed him with paint, too. <laughs> oh, what happened to the screen? Go back, go back. It disconnected. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me put it back. Put it back. There we go. Uh oh, I got it. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. All right, let me see. Add it to the screen. Add it. There it is. Okay. I got to quit clicking stuff because then I mess it up. Look at Kiana go. Yes, he had a great beard. She hooked him up. Look, wig and everything. What? And what? then what y'all can't hear is him telling me to give him the Frederick Douglass. He asked me to part it on the <laughs> side. <laughs> he asked me to part the wig on the side so he could see amazing amazing job so you have to see his performance with her makeup and phenomenal job so congratulations for being able to do that being able to be a part of the thank um, you thank you show so it's gonna be amazing the singing the acting is phenomenal grab your tissues get ready it, it, it's it's gonna be an awesome experience. Yes, I mean, no lying. And if you watch the show, this is who I interviewed on the show uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, um, and Taritha, shout out to my girl, Taritha. Taritha has Hi, been Taritha. supporting me in this effort um, 
since since I got cast in the show. I just want to say thank you so much. She has purchased her ticket already. She won a t-shirt. She has been like supporting nonstop. Like talk about your ride or die. That's my ride or die girl right there. Stop playing. Stop playing. Don't nobody come for me because I got friends in high places. Thank now. you, Sarita. Yeah, she said awesome job. Awesome job. So um, be sure that you um, check it out. It's going to be Friday, 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. If you're on Clubhouse, it's free. You can hear the audio version. But if you want that whole experience with the audio and the visual, because some of you are visual, then make sure you go to the WizCH on Facebook, purchase your ticket, or go to the website, thewizch.com. You can purchase your tickets on there. If you want to purchase a t-shirt, you can do that. You don't have to. But what they're doing, the money um, go the money from the stream, they're going to be blessing the cast with those funds because we're doing this for free. There's We do not get paid for doing this. Um, it's all done out of love, and we're excited to do it. We're super excited to do it because it's an opportunity to get back on stage uh, even if it's a virtual stage, it's an opportunity to perform again. And we haven't been able to do that. So it's an exciting time for us actors. And let me tell you, the talent is through the roof, through the roof. Okay. And of course, um, another exciting event that's going to be happening at the end of April. Looking forward to bringing um, her on and some of the instructors on to be talking about this is the Living Color uh, art seminar that's going to be going on. Um, this is going to be so much fun. Uh, shout out to Summer Carter, the Living Color uh, virtual creative seminar featuring so many amazing artists. Dominique House is an artist. Eris uh, yeah. is an uh, Edder Bean is an artist that's going to be uh, presenting on that. Dominique um, Zuri, Zuri FX is going to be one of the artists presenting all different, and, and I think there's going to be a kids segment and all of that. So be sure to go and check out Living Color. Here I go. Dominique, please type the link. I should have put the link up again. Type the link for me, Dominique, where people can get the ticket. But if you go to the link, put in DWORKS20 to get 20% off. You can get 20% off your tickets. Or you can use any anyone's code. I mean, it's all good. We we want to make sure everybody um, is blessed. Cause yeah, but go and check it out. April twenty eighth through the thirtieth. That's going to be exciting and fun. So that's some of the fun things that's going on. What else, Kiana? I was typing it in the in the comments, but I'm going to say it also. Make a friend. Yes. You've seen the list of all the people that are going to be painting at that event and teaching at that event. Make a friend and then exactly. ask them for the code. Right. Get ready. There you go. That make way, that way, make a friend, get the code. They can now know you. They can know that you're a fan and do it. Do it that way. Exactly. I love it. I love it. Let's see. Did she put it in there? Make a friend. Oh, did you type the code in there or type the link to get there? I think Dominique was going to, if okay. she heard us. Yeah. And then I'll put the link for the, the whiz when we, uh, when we're done, I'll put okay. it in there too. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So if there is nothing else, there's always a lot. Kiana, thank you for hanging out with me. Like we need to do this more often. We got to do this more <laughs> often. It was my pleasure. Yes, yes. You, you didn't catch me on guard today. I ain't looking like an orphan. I don't have on no safari hats. We was good today. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Hey, listen, I wasn't totally feeling it today either, but I'm like, let me pull myself together. And I have a rehearsal coming up at 930 for the Wiz. So, yes. But anyway, thank you everyone for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you, uh, Instagram, everyone for watching. Be sure you check out The Wiz this weekend. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. And be sure if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, I need your help. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? Um, I'm going to be... Uh, we do these lives on there, but I'm going to be uploading some more things. I've been doing some face painting stuff on there as well. It's just a variety of things that's going to be happening on my YouTube channel. And so please go subscribe to my YouTube. It's real easy. DWorks. Subscribe to DWorks on YouTube, please. And when you do that, I will give you a shout out. Okay. 
Um, so make sure you do that. Thank you guys. <laughs> whatever, Kiana, whatever, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I am horrible because I always give myself away. People would probably miss it if I didn't give myself away. If you didn't, but I was it didn't help because I laughed. Yeah. It um it it reminds me of when people when we do theater. And you mess up on a line. It's like if you don't say anything, no one will know. Don't say no anything. Really but I, I catch myself, and I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so but I know you're trying to break yourself of it. So I, I did good today. I did good today. I did very well. I think. I think I did. Pretty you good. did. All it makes me think of is the little kids that are doing stuff on a. Uh, on YouTube and they're starting their channels and they're, this is what I'm doing today, guys. Look what I'm doing, you guys. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Z Zuri just laughs at me. She can come comical. Okay. <laughs> All right. And this is why I'm here because I cannot, I just cannot. And we definitely would be remiss if we did not remind you guys to go and purchase your guys. All right, all right. Go and pick up your copy of Greg the Green Grasshopper's Great Adventure, now available on Amazon, or you can hit me up directly and get your personalized autograph copy from me. Okay. Okay. What you got? You selling anything? What are you selling, Kiana? You not selling anything, girl? Nothing. I need to sell something. All right. We're going to work oh, on that. That might not sound right. All right, but... Um... <laughs> I need to create a product line to sell <laughs> for the masses. How about that? Yes. See, she's going to get in trouble, so we got to get out of here. All right. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> we will catch you next time. Let's go, y'all.